Raymond. Shed. Finally. Where the hell have you been? Look, I... Uh, do you have any idea what's going on? What happened at the warehouse? Raymond, do you ever actually read my reports? Your reports? All I have to do is read the goddamn newspapers. They're calling it a massacre. If it ever came out that the police were involved, we're dead. It won't. Well, you can't know that. You at least, you at least could have turned Siwa over to us. It would have helped our case. That would have put the entire operation at risk. What does Penju say? You know, he's not your handle, Way. I am. Well, then fucking handle it, Raymond. Well, how'd you think this was gonna go down? Huh? Whatever it takes. You remember that? You wanted results, and you can't get them sitting behind a desk, nose in a rule book, with a stick up your ass. Look, Raymond, I am doing what needs to be done. No, no, you've crossed the line, Way. I'm gonna terminate this operation. You can't do that. Pendrew won't allow it. Pendrew may like to take chances. I don't. And you are dangerous. Fine. But before you go back to your office to try and pull the plug, go ahead and tell Penju that I just met the chairman of the Sun on Yi. The chairman? <laughs> Wait, you're, you're just a foot soldier. Well, this foot soldier has just been marked for promotion because I made sure Suwa got out safely. It'll be in my report, and maybe this time you'll actually read it. Will that cost me? Don't worry. We'll give you a good deal. Send on ye never pay full price.
位啊，过嚟过嚟啊，各位啊吓，诶唔好放喺度啊吓，冻晒啦，点解你嘥晒时间啊？你知啊，我 Winston 咧就嚟同 Peggy 结婚噶啦。Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. 梗系啦，吓到时间啦，吓阿 Peggy 咧就系想准备啲婚礼，咁佢又唔叫 Winston， 我会搵人车佢。啊，咁你啊唔介意啦吧？吓 ？No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. 好，咁就好啦。啊，走走啦，唔该晒啊。我要多啲雞，你哋攞多啲雞俾我啊！嚇，咪企喺度傻。Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone who can be soft with you too. It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. And then what will you be? If you say so. I do say so. You are fan- My car! My car! in her bark for sure. Now she used to scare me, but then one day I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me too distracted. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart. You're lucky. My mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but... Whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. 
It's our wedding. Your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <clears throat> yeah. You know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in Old Prosperity, she, you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some have hey, us die hard, you know? Isn't that a van from some the don't wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Careful! Wait, slow down! <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast! pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. I'll follow you. Relax, I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to cry for my dead fingers, you hear? Tell Winston I got the cake. Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Way. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just would be perfect without that. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. You're good. Thanks, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here. I'll be right back.
What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it, when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. Uh, I, I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these rubs are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Oh, cops, perfect. Hiya. Uh, Winston is not gonna like this. Thank you. It's my pleasure. If you're gonna be my sister, For being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. 
There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you.